Our group are presenting about the environmental impact assessment on the beach resort development at Lundu Town. The project proponent for this beach resort development is Jurutera Pruning Wahba Sriyan Berhad. The main objective of this term of reference is to analyze the state benefits of expected regional and costs needed for both social and environmental effect to minimize the negative impact of the proposed project. The proposed project is located at Kampong Bajo, Jalan Sia Pandan at Lundu Division of Sarawak. Lundu is a town with low population but a big area in Sarawak. There are two popular beaches in Lundu which are Sia Beach and Pandan Beach. The proposed project location will be built in between these two beaches. Meanwhile, the project's facility is built in 15,000 square feet. There are two project options for this project. First is site layout alternatives. The room number can be reduced and the area of sport facilities is reduced to spare more natural areas. Second option is design alternatives. Different design or materials of the main building can be considered for aesthetic purposes, local benefits, and sustainability. Here is the baseline study for the existing environment. Meteorology the average temperature is between 74 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit over the year. The rainfall is mostly rain in January with 18.0 inch. The wind speed is more than 3.2 miles per hour. The humidity compound level is moiki, oppressive or miserable. And here is the baseline study. For seawater quality, there are two samples were taken to access the seawater quality. The first sample was taken at depth of 1 meter from the mean sea level, while the second sample was taken at 10 meter depth. So here is the uh, parameter that we are used to, to measure the seawater quality. There are five locations of sample station for seawater quality as shown in the map. The characteristic of soil in Lulu Beach is grey white bosolic soil blue. The soil characteristic and condition were accessed by fieldwork sampling and compiling existing data from reports and source agencies. Soil samples were collected from depth of around 1 meter below the surface. Green ash, intensive bonding of low laying wetland area occurs after heavy rain and persists for long periods. The limestone hills soak of the side drain by downward movement of rainfall through cracks and other solution features. So the baseline in drain edge is that surface water, groundwater and water flow were studied by field investigation using maps, area photographs and published studies. The level of noise will be below the prescribed AAQSRN standard except the day level at Kampong Bajo and Lindu Beach Resort and nighttime noise level at project site. The sound pressure level measurement was recorded to obtain noise level for every hour within one day. There are approximately 85% to 90% of the site was covered by grasses or bare ground. The remaining 10% to 15% of the site was covered by Shoria lundensis ashton and Shoria macrophylla. Baseline in this study is that the vegetative in the site were identified and described using the method of Grossman, dominant tree species, growing stages, and canopy cover were accessed in this study. There were several monkeys and birds noted during the brief visit site. So, in this study, field observation and study from existing literature were done together. Uh, information on fauna diversity on the site. For terrestrial fauna, ground survey were done by tracking the core and the buffer zones. Here is the fish census in seawater nearby Kampong Bajo at Dundu. So, in this study, um, the recording of fish was done during time swims. 3 times 50 minute fish counts per dive were carried out. The proposed project consists of mangrove and sand beach environments. 
in baseline study, observation on the vegetation and aquatic and terrestrial species were done. Surveys were conducted during the growing season and ecological characteristics of the wetland were studied. Inside the coastal marine biology, there has a total grass, native fish, coral reef, algae, and seagrass. The baseline study is uh, primary and secondary data on the marine biology can be done by standard method. A preliminary sampling was done to indicate the variations in the ecosystem in the study. The marine organism were observed and recorded. There are 140,000 of people live in Kampung Bajo Lundu. Major traffic flow occur between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Kampung Bajo Road and near the project site. The primary school facility is available at Kampung Bajo, while the middle school is available within 8 km reduced from Kampung Bajo. There is no medical facility nearby in Kampung Bajo Lundu. Baseline study with screen observation, in depth structure interview, non structure ad hoc discussion with key informants or group of people were done to obtain the information. Here is the project location and system land use. There are 15,000 hectares covered with two swimming pools, tennis courts, a social field, and indoor sport building. Here is the potential significant impacts and mitigation and abatement measures. This table shows the negative significant impacts on natural environment, and here is the mitigation and abatement measures. There are also have negative significant impact on social, economic, cultural, and historical. And here is their mitigation and abatement measures. So the positive impact in this proposed project is that it provides many job opportunities to local people either during construction and operation phase. Here is the residual impacts on the proposed projects. In environmental management group, Deutra Purunding Wahapa Senior Berhad is responsible for the effective implementation of mitigation measure and management of environmental quality on site. There is needed to propose monitoring program and auditing during construction and phase on water quality, air quality, ambient noise level, and environmental audit at least every month or every four months during construction and annually during uh, during operation.